This is McFly Angler. Starts now. For a hook, we will need a 2x long shank nymph hook like these Risen 5262s, and today I'm tying a size 14. We will also need a gold bead. For this size hook, a 2.8mm bead will work great. The best way to put the bead on the hook is to place the bead in your hand and bring the hook point to it. Place the hook and bead securely in your vise. Now for added weight, and to build a bit of a taper, let's put some .010 size lead wire on a bobbin holder and make about 10 or so wraps of the lead onto the hook. And I like adding a drop of super glue here before pushing the wire up into the bead cavity. For thread I like this Viva 6 aught in brown. Start your thread right behind the lead wraps and break or snip off the waist. Then come up through the lead wire and back down, stopping just in front of the hook bend. For tail, and also the body of this fly, we will need a hair's mask. Clip off a small section of fur near the forehead of the mask where the hair is a bit darker. Then pitch the tips to get just the guard hairs and pull out the underfur. Now save this underfur for later on the fly. Now measure out the tail to about half or three quarters the length of the hook shank. Then tie it in with a couple tight wraps down to the bend of the hook. I like to make one wrap under the tail also to keep it aligning straight. Then tie up to just before the lead wraps and trim off the waist. Clean up that section with a few more wraps and then come down about halfway between the lead and the tail. Now we need some gold tinsel. Trim off a few wraps of the tinsel, which should tie four to five of these flies. Now the tinsel I have is gold on one side and silver on the other. To get the gold side to show when wrapping the rib, tie it in so the silver side is on the outside. Wrap this down to the start of the tail. Now back to that under fur we saved earlier. We will use this as dubbing on the fly. Separate this into two sections, one with a bit more guard hairs and one to be mostly the under fur. Now some guard hairs will be in the under fur section and some under fur will be in the guard hair section, and that's okay. For the abdomen, we will use the under fur section of dubbing we made. Make a thin but tapered noodle onto your thread. Then start wrapping this up the hook shank with touching wraps, trying to cover the thread wraps. Also, as you can see, I did build a bit of a taper into my noodle, but make sure that this is wound on with an even taper like so. You can add more dubbing if you need. Anyway, end at about a third mark on the hook shank, right behind the lead wraps in this case. Start wrapping the tinsel up the hook shank with a few open spiral wraps, trying to keep the wraps as even as possible. This is going to create a bit of a rib on the fly. Once you reach your thread, then capture the tinsel and cut off the waist. For the wing case, we will use a turkey feather. Pull off a small section of about a half a dozen fibers, and these stay together quite well. Just stroke the fibers out, and then trim or rip off the stem. Then cut off the butt ends to make it squared off. Tie the butt ends in so it's right behind the bead and directly on top of the hook. Tie this down to about the halfway mark on the hook shank. Now, I actually didn't go far enough here for my liking. Anyway, now take that dubbing section you made that has more guard hairs in it and make a loose dubbing noodle onto your thread. Now you really want this loose, so do not twist on too tight. Wind the noodle onto the thorax section of your fly, making a large and buggy looking thorax. End with your thread right behind the bead. Now pull the turkey feathers up and over the dubbing thorax and capture it with a few tight wraps. Ensure that it is flat across the top and spread out a bit. You can use your thumb to position it where you want it. Then cut off the waist close. Add a bit more of that scruffy dubbing, making a very thin noodle. Then wrap this around the thread wraps to hide them. Then whip finish your fly right behind the bead. If you pull tight enough, it should seat the thread under the bead and make it disappear under the dubbing then cut off the waist thread. Now, as you can see, I made this wing case a little bit too short. I usually bring it back just a bit more to about there. 
Now, because of all the dubbing, you won't want to use conventional head cement. This water-based head cement from Loon works great though. Dab a bit onto the whip finish, and it will seep down under the dubbing and into the whip finish. It will dry clear and won't gum up the dubbing the same way traditional head cement will. Anyway, brush out the bottom of the thorax to make the guard hairs stick out a bit more. This will act like little legs. And you could even use a needle to pick out a few more hairs if you want them. And there we have it, a finished hair's ear fly. I always thought of these to mimic tan caddis pupa. However, they can also imitate a number of other aquatic bug species. I like tying these with a bead and some extra weight to get them down, but they can also be tied without any weight as well if you choose. Let me know in the comment section how you prefer to tie these flies and what you feel they mimic the best. As you all know, I have gotten you all discounts from both www.risenfly.com and www.dooliesflyfishing.com. Dooley's offers great prices on all of the name brand fly tying materials, and Risen Fly manufactures their own hooks, rods, reels, and other gear for fly fishing. Their products are top quality, and best of all, they are priced very reasonably. Not only are the prices at these two shops great, but like I said, they are offering all of my subscribers a discount. So use McFly at checkout when ordering from either of these shops, and you will get an additional 15% off of their already great prices. I want to also thank all of my Patreons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel, and also get some great perks like early access to my videos, participate in live streams, and more. So go to www.patreon.com forward slash angler to sign up today. I also thank all of you who share all my videos with your friends and your continued support by hitting the like buttons and subscribing. Thank you for making these videos possible. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.